Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm continuing my Daredevil reactions and this is episode 11. So last episode ended so crazy. Vanessa was left foaming at the mouth. So were everybody else here in whatever like banquet thing they were having. Um, I, I wonder if she's dead. I mean, it, it seems like she might be because like if she were for just for the story purposes like what would that do for Fisk um, and like how would that propel his character in the future? I mean, I feel like he would just kind of lose it, you know? We also had Foggy questioning Matt a lot last episode now that he found out that he's Daredevil. I hope that we can kind of get past that. I mean, like I get it. It's like a big deal for him to like know that his best friend was lying to him for so long. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I said this last episode, but in the Daredevil universe, it seems like you know kind of justice isn't really serving you know like things the law isn't really helping a lot of times you know Fisk is able to get around things all the time and it would be great if they could take him down the legal way but it seems like nothing that they, you know everything they do is kind of getting foiled so maybe there is a need for Daredevil to do things outside of the law it's kind of that whole moral question that this show presents is like him being a vigilante and breaking the law. Is he doing good or is he doing wrong? And there's a lot of parallels between him and Fisk, but like on the opposite ends. It's just really interesting how it kind of makes you question things and decide for yourself what you think is right and wrong. And just kind of seeing Matt struggle with it as well. But at the end of the day, you know, I feel like his, you know, his need to protect the city is really strong. And we will see how far that will drive him to maybe one day taking out Fisk. The way he does it though, I guess we'll have to see still. Mm, cartoon. This looks like an old school cartoon, so who is this? Oh, okay, it's the hospital. We'll have a nurse come check you out. I'm coming with her. Sorry, we can't have you in there, sir. Don't you know who I am? <gasps> Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> I can't tell if Leland is just really being like that or if he had something to do with it and that's why he's like trying to act like, ooh, you should check me out, you know? Or if he's really just like, ooh. I can't tell because like the way he like didn't drink it and dropped it though, like it could have been either or. Matt, it's Karen. You gotta act like you were in an accident. <laughs> She's still alive. Yeah, just living in a care facility upstate. Now Ben and I took a drive. Oh, there. Karen, Karen. <laughs> you tricked Ben into taking a drive. Did you you speak to her, Fist Mother? Yeah. She's not all there, but Matt, what she said about Fisk, he killed his father when he was 12. Mm-hmm. Aaron, be careful, please. Maybe you should take your own advice. The balloon? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's a balloon, I am. Um... It's got a monkey on it. You couldn't have got anything else. <laughs> like anything. <laughs> A balloon. Oh my gosh. You could have got like chocolates or, you know, like the dessert. Something. <laughs> you got somewhere to be? <sighs> Who's Marcy? You're not in the woods. Grunts don't count as words, Foggy Bear. Please don't call me that. I'll call you whatever I damn well please. Oh, is she the lawyer? Oh my gosh, okay. This is awful, look at him. How's he gonna run things? Not the time, Leland. <laughs> yeah, Leland, shut up. I don't like Leland. I'm kind of tired of him. I, that does seem unlikely. So where does that put us? They almost got me, God damn it. All to get to the big guy, Christ. All right, well, I guess this is kind of making me feel like more like he had absolutely nothing to do with it. Thank you, Francis. What? What happened? Is she dead? No, but the three of the others who drank whatever that was have 
fast. Yeah, yikes. Either way, you really need to ease up or I'll be stitching a corpse next time around. You really should get some kind of body armor, like I told you. Get a new suit! No, Matt. I don't want to drink. <laughs> Second woman today has turned me down. Got a revolving door, do you? That's not. <laughs> Bad choice of words. <laughs> I'll always be there. When you really need me to patch you up. Beyond that. Yeah. Uh, well, that sucks. Maybe one day they could have a thing, but maybe it's just like not the right time, you know? What's important? You could have just told me, but no. Instead, you gotta spin some story about this great place upstate. Could be good for Doris. Like you give a damn. Yeah, that was pretty messed up, to be honest. Then he goes on TV again. Tells everybody, yes, he lied about his past because he was just a scared little kid trying to protect his mother. Maybe even rolls the old girl out. Gets all teary-eyed. <laughs> He'll always, like, be one step ahead. Leland thinks... It might have been Nobu's men. Fate. Sir, or something Gao said to me. I still feel like it was Madame Gao. You need to find who did this. You need to. I want to look in their eyes when I salt the earth with their blood. <laughs> my gosh. <gasps> you well, she's lying in there because she was by my side. Make the arrangements. If she recovers, I want her sent away. But is she gonna want to do that? I don't know if she'll gonna. She's gonna want to do that. Doubt she would want that. But we seldom get everything we want. Not in this world. Honestly, whether she lives or dies, I feel like he's gonna, you know, change a little bit how he operates. I'll have Leland attend to it. I want it done quietly. Handle it yourself. Yeah, we don't trust Leland. Right, well, she's gonna make it. Here he is meditating. Where are you going? Putting on the suit, or are you just gonna look at it? Because your stitches aren't fully healed. Oh. Go for the knife in your boot. I break your leg. Go for the backup piece tucked behind your belt. I throw you off the roof. We good? Yeah. <laughs> so what's his deal? Why are you... Is he just like a, a regular criminal? Or is he connect, connected to Fisk? Somehow. Some way. Fisk wears some kind of body armor. Light. Strong. Where's he get it? The hell should I know? Can you make used to me? <laughs> body armor! Yeah. Body armor! Yeah! 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 Is he finally gonna get a freaking suit? How is she? Is she, uh, still with us? Yes. Well, that's something. I don't want to be disturbed. Mm, you better watch what you say, Leland. Hello, Marlene. It's Wesley. No, I, I work with your son. We've met before. Who's this? Wait, I'm sorry. Who came to visit you? Oh, crap. They're going to find out. No, no. All right. Who's making these suits? These clothing? A yoo-hoo? <laughs> just like comes into work and gets a yoo-hoo. I don't remember the last time I had one of those. I might have been like eight. You work for Fisk. I asked you a question. Oh. He's gonna reopen his stitches. Yes. Ugh, crap. Oh, goodness. How are you that strong? 
I need your peace. Discreetly, please. <laughs> it's like pull out a gun in the hospital. <laughs> You want us to drive you? No, I want as many men on him as possible at all times. No one goes in or out of that room without you checking him first. Clear? Yeah, what if he asks for you? Yeah. Tom, I won't be long. I hope he's not going like straight to Karen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my, Matt! Oh, okay. Dang, this guy's like, well, all right, we'll see. He kind of reminds me of Fisk, like how strong he was. That's <sighs> supposed to be in here. How is Fisk going to hurt her? She's not supposed to be here in the shop unless he brings them. So, so you do work for Fisk? It doesn't Fisk seem like no. he works for him in the way you think. From hurting Betsy. You could do that. Maybe. Hmm. Did you make a suit for Fisk? You want to make me a suit? Make a suit lined with this. He made a whole bunch. He keeps him safe. Can you make something for me? <gasps> yes! Not a suit suit, but a suit. <laughs> I promise to get Fisk out of your life. To keep Betsy safe. You can do that. With your help, I, I think maybe I can. What do you want me to make? A symbol. Hmm. I'm excited about that. I've been wanting him to finally get his freaking suit so he stops getting hurt all the time. His mother is supposed to be dead. Foggy, this 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 proves that Fisk's been lying. You know how we're dealing with. What the hell happened? Don't. Don't tell me that it was a car. You can tell the truth, Foggy. You wanna talk? Yeah. But he can't. It's... Uh, if you say it's complicated, I will punch you in the face. Personal! Mm. Fisk is still out there, Foggy. Be nice if you and Matt could get your heads out of your asses and help do <sighs> something about it. I mean, Matt's trying to. Who is this? Is this Karen? You okay? We'll be. What's up? She needs a friend. <laughs> I don't know what, they had some kind of fight, and now I feel like it's falling apart, Ben. All of it. Uh, it's usually right around the time you know the story's getting interesting. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, the dad's sign. Crap. The people that did this to you, they will suffer. Hmm. They will suffer. He's such a good actor. Like, it's insane. Second time she's gotten kidnapped like this. Gosh. <gasps> See if Matt or Foggy will figure out where she, like, what happened to her that, ugh, dang. Is that supposed to scare me? No, no. Oh, this is. Mmm, what is? Is it a gun? Yeah. I do not love this city. Mm. The crush of the unwashed garbage stacked on the sidewalk. The air that seems to adhere to your skin. A layer of filth you can never completely wash away. Maybe you should move. Uh, <laughs> he loves the city in a way you and I never could. I don't expect you to understand that there are moments when even I struggle to, but he does very deeply. Almost, I suspect, as much as he loves his mother. Mm, which is what this is all about. As I said, loves his mother. He would be extremely disturbed. If he knew you'd found her, even more so that you've been to see her. So are you not going to tell him? What do you want out of this? I'm not here to kill you, Miss Page. I'm here to offer you a job. 
Hmm. Like, doing what? You're going to convince Mr. Yurek that everything is fine. That you were wrong. Hmm. That Wilson Fisk is a good man. There's no freaking way she'll just do that. I'd rather die first. Mm. But you won't be the first to die, Miss Page. No. Oh, no. I think Mr. Yurek will have that on. Oh, no. <gasps> Karen! <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> Is she gonna do it though? Is she gonna do it? Or are you gonna like be able to get yourself out of there? Do you really think I would put a loaded gun on the table? Oh my gosh. Or is it a bluff? Is it a bluff? Who do, do we know? Do you really think this is the first time I've shot someone? Miss Page. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you lied! <laughs> oh my gosh, Karen! She killed Wesley just like that! On the phone! I can't believe that just happened, oh my goodness! I would have like wiped it way better than that, oh my gosh! You're gonna have to tell Matt and Foggy, like, and she's probably gonna keep it a secret. That's insane! She just killed Wesley! I mean, he was dumb to leave the gun on the table like that. This show has a way of ending episodes. So what a crazy ending to the episode. Karen killed Wesley when he had kidnapped her, trying to convince her, or I guess like proposition her for the job to convince everyone else that Fisk was a good man. Regardless, him taking this upon himself was his fatal flaw here. He was trying to do this so that Fisk, you know, wouldn't worry, I guess, right now while Vanessa was in the hospital. Um, he made the mistake of leaving the gun on the table and answering the phone. Obviously, Karen got it. That was insane. Now we have this whole thing. Honestly, it's gonna make the whole situation worse. I mean, I'm glad that she stood up for herself and defended herself, but you know, it's gonna be crazy because I feel like Fisk is gonna assume potentially that she might be connected with the man in the mask, you know, here. Um, I think, I mean, I don't fully know, but I feel like at some point Karen's gonna have to be let in on, on the news, you know, about Matt because especially now after this, she's involved extremely. So she already was that she went to his mother, but like after this, you know, all bets are off. The gun, ditching it. Oh dang. She's like coming to terms with the fact that she's a killer now. Hmm. I mean, eventually Matt and Foggy are gonna like be like, ooh, something's up with you, you know? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is he really? <gasps> Taking a life. Oh, I didn't expect it to happen this soon. Moments that they've cherished. Uh, is he gonna kill her? I want you to know something. Something important that I've learned. It gets easier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was a dream? They can't do that to me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It's crazy because it's like it didn't seem that unrealistic that something like that would happen. <laughs> okay, well, dang. Sad that she's like has to go through this alone because Matt would be the person that she could talk to about this. I mean, he doesn't kill, but you know, I feel like he would be the one who would have some sort of understanding of how this all feels, kind of. What's going on with me and Matt? It sucks that it's bleeding over to you. It's the last thing I'd ever want to. Sorry. Had a rough night. Yeah, just a rough night. 
seem like the type. Yeah, I smoked a doobie once. Made me drool. A doobie. Weed, pot, the Mary Jane, whatever the kids are calling it these <laughs> Does days. Does anybody say doobie anymore? <laughs> no matter what's going on between me and Matt, that doesn't change anything with Fisk. I'm gonna keep digging. You can't just run around killing people and call yourself a human being. Oh, awkward. Everything's gonna be all right. How can you be sure? Because I have to be. He's off the booze. Stay away from the Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. He's gonna figure it out because he's gonna hear her heartbeat or whatever. I don't know. Do what he does. You want coffee? Yeah, please. Imagine not being able to sleep and just like going to work. <laughs> like if you don't own the business, like her. <laughs> like who, who would just go to work? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's different if you, you know, killed someone. So <laughs> we gotta take your mind off it somehow. You and Foggy are the only good things in my life right now. Karen, did something happen? Yes. Are you gonna talk about it? The world fell apart. Ah, oh, I feel like you need to yes. talk about it. I mean, oh goodness. All right, is he about to find out about Wesley? Something was in your drink, but it was my fault. I should have known the way things are, that someone would try to get to me, and you know, I'm sorry. You were caught in the. She not know who he is. Oh wait, okay, all right, all right. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sir, not now. Go. Go. No, I can wait. Oh, he's about to find out. I'm not leaving. I'll make them suffer for what they've done. I expect nothing less. He's such a good actor. Like even just his like small facial expressions. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Ugh. He asked for the keys to the SUV and my gun. You let him leave. Alone. Oh my gosh. What is he gonna do to him? <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, she's my friend! My friend! Oh. Don't lose sight of the end game. Once Senator Cherry is the last of the zoning issues, he can tear down the rest of Hell's Kitchen. I don't know if now is the time. My daughter did this to, to Vanessa, the West. Huh? I see that I can shake loose. Like they're still thinking it's the same person. All right, he's gonna see the call. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was during the day, morning rush hour. Guy like you might stick out. I'll dress down. <laughs> it's cold. You should get yourself a better coat. How about you get yourself a better outfit? You're gonna keep running around out there. Hey, he's in the process of it. Watch your back, Ben. Fisk is an animal. And we're backing into a corner. And Karen just killed one of his guys, so that's probably gonna come back around too. You know, that buffalo wouldn't make me a vodka martini. I had to settle for just vodka. <laughs> you want a martini? I'll get you a martini. What I want is not being this petri dish a second longer than I have to. Oh my gosh, pretentious. Everybody's gotta be sneaking around tonight? What the hell are you doing? She confided in him? You said you think they might know that we went out to St. Benazé. It's just a feeling. And now he's directly at risk too because of all of this. And we need that story out uh, before it's too late. I feel like he needs to know that there's a threat against him too, though. There's nothing that's been going on at Lamin and Zach. Nothing that doesn't feel right with Fisk. Fisk is one of our most billable clients, along with Owsley at Silver and Brent. I could lose my job just sitting here. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like all of this is like super kind of bordering illegal. They're gonna get what's coming to them. And they're gonna be some hard questions about how much Lamin and Zach knew and when they knew it. This is your chance to get out in front of that. Hmm. Take your soul back. 
Hopefully she's trustworthy and doesn't just go back and like, you know, use the information against them because that would be horrible. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Oh, getting picked up. Okay, well now how are you gonna follow? <laughs> Does he just have like an endless supply of those sticks? <laughs> I feel like he throws them out everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully he's like healed enough for all of this. All this parkour. All right, well, you found a new little base area. I, I, I know you want to stay, but it's not safe at St. Venice. All right, let's see if she's gonna say, Oh, yes, James. Such a handsome boy. Oh, he's so well-dressed, polite. He called you the other night. She did? She don't remember. She probably will, though, at some point, and then that's when they're gonna put it together. For what you talked about. Such a beautiful day, isn't it? Mmm. Well. It's only a matter of time, though. Hey, you coming in? I had a rough morning. I'm gonna need the day. <laughs> His stitch opened up, of course. I might as well be wearing lipstick and a red dress. Take the rest of the week. You're suspended. Ah, oh, dang it. Since Fisk is spending millions of dollars trying to save this city. Maybe you should drop the Woodward and Bernstein and try writing a story about that. How much is he paying you? <gasps> so how much is Fisk paying you to keep it that way? The reason that you can't get any of your crime pieces into the paper lately, it's because they're shit, Ben. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something someone would say if they were paid off. You know what? Forget about the suspension. Clear out your office. Oh! <gasps> I'm done trying to help. Oh my gosh, she's getting fired. But also from like a media perspective, wouldn't, if there was like, ooh, this big famous benefactor in the city, like, ooh, he killed his dad, what? You know, like when he was 12, I feel like that would be what everybody would want to print and talk about, especially now in the modern day, like social media era, everybody would be like, oh my gosh. It looks like all of them, like, they burned their eyes out, too, which is, like, really sad. I don't know, they all have scars around their eyes. Who's Matt? <laughs> yes, I can already tell by the punch. Punch noises. <laughs> Matty! I want him to get his new suit already. I feel like that's gonna be like a finale thing, like next episode thing. Mm. It's sad. We're just being used. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Francis. Double the offer in the streets. Keep doubling it until someone talks. Yes, sir. I still have a feeling Leland is like somehow in on all this. I did it for a little bit, but like, I don't know. No, he's not able to come to the phone. What do you have? Thank you. Oh my gosh, did they like capture him somehow? I would hope not. Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay, good. I was like, I don't feel like he'd let himself be captured. All those people, you took their eyes. No, they blinded themselves. Why? Why? Because they have faith. Well, that's still taking advantage of them. And your drugs? In something beyond the distractions of your world. 
I mean, it's not his world either. He's blind too. You people have nothing. You're gonna tell me about You literally made people. them blind themselves and distribute <gasps> drugs. Like, oh dang, Madam Gal. What the heck? She uses the power of, um, I guess, I don't know, seeming more frail than she really is. Kind of like his blindness. Where did Madame Gao go? Did she like run off? Well, now they're all probably gonna get exposed, most likely. <gasps> Don't you move! Oh my gosh. Hands, let me see your hands. Hands! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're the guy. The one that killed Blake and shot those cops. Oh my gosh. Oh. Blake and Hoffman are dirty. Working for what's at risk. <gasps> Along with a lot of others in your precinct. I'm not the bad guy. Then what are you? Well, he's, he's trying to work that out for himself, too. Oh, here she is. Okay, so let's see if they really are connected in all this. My interest here has never been about heroin, Leland. Do what you want. I could honestly care less. If he finds out what we did, this isn't gonna matter. This mm -hmm. is Not yet. That could change. So it was them. I mean, I feel like that was the obvious, like... Moved as a distraction. I should have just had her shot. Oh my gosh, of course. They have never shown me discourtesy. So what's our play here? The wheel constantly turns. We must adapt to its position or be crushed beneath it. Honestly, I'm shocked Fisk doesn't suspect her, like, more. Or even Leland. China? It is a considerable distance, Father. We shall not speak again. Oh, so she's just probably like leaving, leaving. Wait, you think I'm gonna just... Ugh. Okay. I mean, her little base thing, drug thing, did get discovered, so I guess she kind of does need to like dip. You never needed that man. You never needed that paper. Yeah, exactly. You never needed a story. Mm-hmm. Go tell it. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. No, oh yeah, the internet. The internet, right? Reach a whole lot of folks. Start your own blog. No you ever could at the bulletin. And the internet's all gossip. No ways. The world needs Ben Murray to tell the truth, any way he can. Make a YouTube video, or was this before YouTube? <sighs> what do we do next? I'm thinking I might start a blog. <gasps> Yay, blog! You're gonna write about Fisk killing his father. I'm gonna write about all of it tonight. Get it out there. Hopefully you get it out there and are not about to die or something because I'm getting nervous. I'll send you the link when it's up. We'll go from there, okay? Call you in the morning. Oh my gosh, okay. Good night. Hopefully he's fine. Hopefully he's gonna be fine. Matt? This is what we are now. We people don't even talk to each other. <laughs> even though you're all connected. I mean, Foggy, not so much, but those two. I had a really shitty night. <laughs> kind where, where you think you've seen the bottom of humanity. And the, the pit just keeps getting, getting deeper. You know? I can't. Oh, Matt. Oh. <laughs> Oh, please, nobody be in his house, please. Oh, is that like, uh, from Avengers? They look like the alien ship, kind of. If only Matt knew there was a ton of other kind of like vigilantes-ish, some of them kind of, you know, like, aliens and whatnots, you know. There's other people like him out there. He's not alone in that sense. And they kind of deal with the same issues sometimes. Well, 
like eventually even to the point where I forgot which one it was, but like to the point where they were, um, oh my gosh, no, dang it, this is where I was, <laughs> This world around us is preoccupied with celebrity weddings and videos of cats. Yeah, <laughs> this must have been early YouTube. <laughs> Trust me, it gets more prevalent into people's daily lives. They take too much time away from texting and thousand channels on the satellite dish. People don't really have cable anymore either. <laughs> oh, how times have changed. Were you alone when you spoke to my mother? Oh my gosh. What are you gonna say, Ben? Were you alone? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, Ben. Wesley, was that you? Wesley? I didn't think so. Oh my gosh. The principle of conviction. I understand that. I even admire it. What? You went after my mother. He was tricked into going, ah. My mother. So I am not here to threaten you. Oh my gosh, he's going to kill I'm him. I'm here to kill you. Oh my gosh, Ben. Oh. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I'm so mad! No, oh, Ben, he was like one of the good ones! Oh. I mean, they were all good ones, but... Oh my gosh! Of course. It just sucks because it's like it wasn't his idea. It wasn't his idea to go. No, oh, I knew he wasn't gonna write the freaking article. Oh, his wife. Oh, it was just too ominous. Oh my gosh. That sucks. That really, I'm like really sad about that. So we lost Ben this episode. Upsetting, it's disappointing. I mean, for the show, it's, you know, gonna compel the story forward obviously but for me I'm sad and it just sucks because it's like he wasn't the one who wanted to go Karen tricked him and she unintentionally got him killed by doing that obviously he didn't say she was with him um I it's and he Fisk is eventually gonna find out that she was there too and that she was the one that killed Wesley and he's probably gonna go after her the exact same way um I just really feel like she needs to tell Matt before that happens and she's not gonna want to she's not gonna want to tell anybody obviously and then like Matt's not gonna want to tell her who he really is and it's just gonna be this whole thing and it's just it's all culminating for this next episode here which is gonna be the season finale which I'm really excited about but I don't know I don't know where it's gonna go hopefully Matt gets his suit next episode that's what I've been waiting for I want to see him in the suit I think I know what it looks like I think it's like the red suit but I just want to see him wear it and then hopefully that will help him also when he's actually fighting not have to get beat up so much not have to get injured so much because it will be that same material that Fisk has that I guess I don't know keeps him from getting hurt <laughs> So I talked about it a little during the episode, but you know, kind of the whole theme that Matt's kind of struggling with the fact of, is he a hero? Is he a villain? Like what exactly is he? I think that's cool that since this does take place in the Marvel sphere, there are other people out there like him. He just doesn't know it yet. I mean, you had like, I, they make references to like the Avengers and stuff like that. You have people like that who do the same thing he does that, you know, take it upon themselves to, be the hero and they're considered heroes to everybody you know so at some point you gotta wonder like when would he see articles about them i mean i guess like they're obviously not gonna reference it in the show necessarily but like you would think that if he would see things about them would he see them as heroes and not see himself as one or like what does he think about that you know but there definitely are other people out there like him and i feel like that's what makes it so exciting i know i'm only on the first season of this show but i know that daredevil eventually is going to join the actual mcu um and i feel like it's gonna be so cool to see him interact with the rest of them you know and be like oh there are others like me who have the same kind of beliefs as me like i'm gonna go protect what i care about and what i love even if it is maybe a little bit outside the law but like also not at the same time you know so it's gonna be really interesting to see that oh this one's called daredevil that's gotta mean the suit right oh the funeral Many rivers. Aww. But I can't 
You shouldn't have died, Ben. You shouldn't have died. Oh my gosh. Karen. No. Yes. Well, you wouldn't let go until you got to the truth. He admired that. We never got around to having kids. If we had, I think he would have wanted one like you. Oh, and that was totally like their kind of relationship too. I think it's my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. I pushed him into a story that he didn't ben want. Ben Urich never got pushed into doing anything he didn't want to do. I mean, he kind of got tricked though. So it was a little different. I'm not letting it go. I mean, I'm not like mad at her completely for it, but like she did it, you know? I mean, I'm a little mad at her, but I'm not like, you know, hateful to her, if that makes sense. <laughs> he was a good man and he's gone because I haven't stopped what's happening in the city. You can't put that on yourself, Matthew. You've done everything you can. A lot you probably shouldn't have. And here we are. So what are you gonna do about it now? I thought Ben said he didn't have any evidence Ellison was taking money from Fisk. No, but it makes sense. I mean, it, it explains. Do you know what makes this worse? Foggy. Didn't even show up. Oh. He he left a message. Oh yeah, he wasn't even there, was he? I didn't even realize. My fault, Karen. All of this with Foggy. No way. Everyone shares the blame in a relationship that's just the way that it works. There's just like so much miscommunication, it's insane. Why don't you go home? Get some rest. Huh? I can't. Like everybody has a secret. Every time I close my eyes, I see. Tell him, tell him, tell him! I want I want the drama. <laughs> He finds out that I say it that I was with Ben. Ah, I told you I would keep you safe, Karen. When he came after you over Union Allied, that hasn't changed. Everyone that's taken money from him, everyone that's helped him tear this city apart, they're all gonna get what's coming to them. Mm. Along with Wilson Fisk. In the suit, right? Right side, you'll be able to build whatever you want on your properties now. Everyone's been paid off. Everyone's on board. But we will need to find a replacement for Gao's heroin trade. Uh, without it, we might have some off the book. I wonder if we're ever going to see Madame Gao again, or is she just like gone, gone? There'd be some irregularities with my accounts. Of course there are. I move mm. money around all the time. What were you doing, Wesley? No game to keep the SEC off our backs. Nothing. I mean, Leland, I called him Wesley. Oh, you're shaking! Yeah, shaking. Freezing out here. I'm shocked he would do that to him. Like, of course he's gonna find out. Jesus. I figure he'd find out sooner or later. So then why would you do it? You know he's not the one to mess with. He must have found out, didn't he? Oh. And you shot him. No oh. Idea. Oh. It wasn't a part of that. It's getting so juicy. You and Gao? She's gone. You're stealing from me. It's not what you think. He tried to kill me. Oh, he thinks it was all him. But you don't even know the half of it. The poisonings at the benefit were just to make it look like someone was trying <gasps> at you. So it was but him. But Vanessa was? Vanessa. Do you blame us? Oh my gosh, she's gonna lose his mind. Leland, you're totally dead. We just wanted to nudge you back on track. Obviously, that went south. We will be parting ways, and I'll be taking half your assets. Oh me. my gosh. You think that I would let you walk away after what you've done? That's exactly what you're going to do. What do you have because over I him? Have Detective Hoffman. Oh. He murdered his partner in the hospital. I scooped him up, squirreled him away oh my for gosh. a day. Oh my gosh. Leland, you freaking snake. You will get caught up in that as well. I've spent my entire life hiding assets overseas from pricks like you. Wow. We on the same page? I am. Uh... No. No. Nope. I don't think we are. <gasps> He's gonna do it anyway! Your threat didn't even work! Dad! Ah! Are you hurt? Oh my gosh. You hurt Vanessa! Oh my 
my goodness. Oh, okay. So there goes Leyland. But now what about Hoffman? Sweep the city. Find Hoffman and put a bullet in his head. Oh, okay. Wow. Leland thought. <laughs> thought you'd be out punching people in the head or whatever you do. He protects the city, Foggy. Karen thinks he's working for Fisk. Did he talk? Uh, no. uh, never got close. Boy, I can kick up and picked him up outside the office. Try again tomorrow night. Why weren't you at the funeral? I have to stop this before there's no one left to bury. Matt, last time you went after Fisk, I found you half dead. More than half. You go after him in the mask again, he might kill you. Not if, if he's in the suit. How do I stop him? By using the law, Matt. Like you told me and Karen to do. That's how we take him down. Aren't you kind of doing something like outside of the law too, though, with the other lawyer? I mean, through the law, but not. <laughs> oh, about Hoffman. I've got to get back. Nothing else you can give us. No, oh, I'm saying too much already, and this guy's not even listening. <laughs> talking to someone about Hoffman. They're looking for him. Detective Hoffman. He's alive. From what I can tell, Alfie has him holed up somewhere. This one's been found bad. Hell yeah, he does. Hoffman could blow this thing wide open. Only if we get him first. And you can use it! You know what doesn't make you want to gouge your eyes out? Cold cuts. Italian meats. Cheese. <laughs> Sandwiches? How'd you find out about Owsley? You never said. Yeah, uh, you're pound the mask. <laughs> you saw him? Oh my god, when? Where? Like, are y'all ever gonna tell? I don't know. But then again, I don't know if... Karen's the best person to know that right now. Unless someone's trying to hide the fact the property's been taken off the records altogether. No shift in profit loss, maybe no one notices. Or it could just be a clerical error. Where's the property? Uh, 53rd and 10th. Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. What do I do, Fawn? This is the part where law meets reality. Either I put on a mask or we risk losing Hoffman and Fisk. <laughs> I like what he said there, where law meets reality. I feel like that was a good line. I feel like that's like what the show, that describes the show perfectly. I don't know, it kind of grows on you. you <laughs> Here's where he is. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, dang. <laughs> he was just about to eat a sandwich. I'm wondering where you got to. Are they gonna do it in time? Or is- Oh! This must be Matt. Yeah! <laughs> you got so lucky, Hoffman. Turn yourself into Brett and Harvey. You can trust him. And he knows a couple of lawyers that can't be bought. They can help you. <clears throat> yeah! Hey, sir, let's see. Oh! Not that easy. I'll be following you to make sure you get to the precinct a lot. <laughs> Basically, you don't have a choice. <gasps> My gosh, as he's still all bloody. Start from the beginning. Names, dates, I want it all. My partner and I were first approached by a man working for Wilson Fisk. 18 months ago. But how far is this going to get us, though? <laughs> I like this shot. <laughs> With the music. Mm, yeah, they're getting them all. But this isn't gonna be the end of it, though. Oh, you're one of them too, of course. Oh, her! It wasn't even him? What the heck? So it wasn't him the whole time. Oh, wow. 
This is such a cool, like, scene here, how they did this. Mm-hmm. So what is Fisk doing? Oh, okay, let's see, let's see. Make the arrangements. Oh my gosh. What they're saying on the news. They're coming for me, Vanessa. So we have to leave it's now. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. No. There's nothing that we can do. Where is he going to go? I need you to do something for me. Listen very carefully. Okay. Like, I don't understand how, I mean, he's got to get out of this somehow, but, or is there some, like, he's telling her something to get him out later. There's one more thing. I think I don't have a lot of time. <gasps> oh. oh! Anything you say can be used against you. What a horrible time to propose! Oh. You're everything. Oh my gosh, that was like sweet and like sad at the same time. I love Fisk so much, even though he's the bad guy. Freaking love him. How do you respond to the allegations that you were involved with the Ranskahoff brothers and that you were responsible wow. for Wow. I never would have, like, you know, Hoffman talking, I was like, whoa. But then to actually see it, what happened because of his actions, it's, it's pretty insane. Wow. Now everybody knows what kind of asshole this really is. <laughs> We are the ones that made it happen. But there's got to be more to the story. There's always more. I mean, some sense of closure for the ones we've lost. For Elena. For Ben. Everyone else that son of a bitch has hurt. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You know, I'm glad that Matt didn't have to kill him. I'm glad that he found a different way to do this. But I, like I said, I don't think it's over yet. But he was able to do it, you know, legally. As legal as they could. This is Matt intended to the traveler's wounds, blind oil and wine. He carried him to an inn, gave him all the money he had for the owner to take care of. Traveling. The good Samaritan. Well, even the best of men can be. And he, like, really did think that he was helping and doing good, he but... that I'm not the Samaritan. <sighs> that I'm not the priest. What, you're the, the man? Land. That I am the ill intent. Oh who set upon the traveler on a road that he should not have been on. Whoa. <laughs> oh no, wait, what is happening? What is the trick? What is the scheme? Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So he had a backup plan. Appears now to be some sort of firefight involving the FBI trend. Wow. We were idiots, weren't we? Sitting here celebrating, thinking that it would be that easy with a man like him. Let's get out of here before they close down the streets or something. Get her home. Matt's gonna go. Hang on, I'll get him a cab. Wait, Coggy! Ugh. <sighs> You heard what's going on out there. You can't go against that goodbye pajamas. I won't be. Matt, I know I haven't earned it. Not yet, anyway. But I'm asking you to trust me, Foggy. I know what I'm doing. The suit. Please, please go get the suit. Go be a hero. Just don't get killed doing yeah. it, okay? You know, at least Foggy's on board. We had it. Now, for the most part. I'm headed to the fight in the middle of the street. I don't know who you assholes think you are, but if you don't back away, I swear to God, I'll put a bullet in this fat son of a bitch. <gasps> him too! Oh goodness! See, you never freaking know who's working for him. <laughs> See, a, a long time ago, I was like, I'm just gonna assume everyone's working for him. I should, I should have stuck to that. Wow, that was so cool. That scene. Too. There's been several cool scenes this episode. Ugh, so well done. And the way he just walks so nonchalantly. He was like the perfect actor to play him. I don't really even know him from the comics, but ugh, so good. Oh my goodness, here we go. 
Black parts will give the most protection. Red might deflect a knife, depending on the angle. Might not. <laughs> okay. Let's see. She's gonna be safe now from Mr. Fisk. I made you a promise. I intend to keep it. All right, here we go. Look at him. So he's just going from like truck to truck. How did he get this all planned out in the span of like two, I don't know, no time on the phone? Maybe he always had a, a backup plan like this or something like that. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm not there, by your side in 20 minutes. I want you to leave. Oh. It won't be the end, Nessa. It's, it's, that's just an inconvenience. Hmm. Nothing will ever keep us apart. I have a feeling he's not gonna make it there in 20 minutes because Matt's about to show up. 15 minutes to the drop. Oh, here you are! <laughs> oh! Oh, good. gosh. I couldn't even talk. <laughs> Um, is he like okay? He was in there without a seatbelt or anything. Dang. As he just walks out. Oh, okay, yeah, he's a little more agile. Oh, okay. Ah, yes! He looks so good! What you told me over the radio that night. Not everyone deserves a happy ending. Aww. Does he have eye holes too? Oh, he does now. I like that. And now your suit actually protects you, which is good because you always get hurt. <laughs> Dang. He's trying to get to Vanessa. You took everything! I'm gonna kill you! Wow. Well. Take your shot. <sighs> Oh, here we go, another fight! Oh! He's so much more pre prepared this time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. So how much does the suit absorb? Like, this? <laughs> No! Oh my gosh! See? He's gotta have some sort of powers. Like, who could just lift someone like that? This city doesn't deserve a better tomorrow! It deserves to drown! I mean, it looks like the suit's helping a little bit. Oh my gosh. This is my city. My family. Oh. They always were like two sides of the same coin, wanting the same thing, but in different ways. Oh my goodness. That was a hard hit. <gasps> Are they really gonna be able to take him in, like for real this time? Show me your hands! I told you before, Sergeant. I'm not the bad guy. Yeah, he's on the ground. It's you. He's got a new look, got a new vibe. Wilson Fisk, under K, North Alley, 4, 6, and 10. Be like, go and I'll act like I found him here. And you're gonna have to leave, Vanessa. It's weird because like part of me is sad that he didn't get to leave with her, but then I'm also happy for Matt for doing that. It's so weird. <laughs> like, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what I want from this show. Thank you, Sergeant. Hey, so what am I supposed to call you when I file my report? <laughs> Nothing, because I was never here. Oh. That's what they're calling him now. Okay, so that's how he's getting the name. Daredevil? Daredevil. He's gonna jump Snake River Canyon on his rocket cycle. <laughs> <laughs> 
serious upgrade. <laughs> I don't know. I think the horns are a bit much. There. Done. They go with the theme. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> well, thank her for us. I thought him and Karen were gonna have a thing, but I guess not. Hey, Karen. There's been something in your voice. <gasps> oh. It's been there for a while now. I thought whatever it was, whatever's been, thought it would get better once Fisk was put away, but. Is it time to spill the beans? All right. Oh, it's like the pi the picture in the wall. Wow. Oh, he's just on his grind. <laughs> and that's the end of the first season. Okay, so we are officially done with the first season of Daredevil. I really enjoyed this show a lot. I heard a lot of hype about it before I watched it. Everybody says they love it. Um, and the hype was real. It was so good. So, such a different tone. I like the grittierness to it. And it had such good characters. Wilson Fisk, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Matt. I really do. But I feel like something about Fisk is just next level. Like, just him being a villain, but the way he is, the facial expressions he makes sometimes, He's just such an intriguing character and he really does steal steal the screen when he's on. And then him and Matt together is like insane. I love that and I definitely want to see more of them interact in the next season, which I don't know if he's going to be like the main villain of the next season. I don't know if this show is like that. You know, in a lot of shows it's kind of like you get one villain a season and then sometimes they come back later on. But I don't know if we're gonna maybe focus on someone else for a while or what's gonna happen there. I did feel like this was a good ending. Like everything kind of tied up nicely. Seeing him get the suit too was awesome. And then, you know, seeing Foggy be a lot more accepting of him. Obviously Karen still doesn't know and I feel like that's gonna come out eventually, you know, um, to her at least. Maybe it wasn't necessarily the right time yet for her to find out, but eventually he's gonna find out what she did and maybe that will lead into the discussion where they both, you know, find each other's secrets. I just feel like all three of them do have to be on the same page eventually. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.